headed back to Quebec where I haven't been here in a few years. And I don't know why, since it's only an hour and a half from Pittsburgh. So uh, we're doing a quick overnighter, seven to eight miles today, and five miles back out tomorrow. We're at T-Bolt -Bolt Trail parking lot. Uh, myself, Becky, and Kay. And we're about to hit the trail, so we'll pick it up somewhere on the trail. Wild Area Fire started in 2016, burned 400 acres. The forecast for the trip is uh, right now it is 76 degrees and uh, we just climbed up a hill and a bit of a breeze up here so that feels pretty good. Um, great great weather for, for a backpacking trip. Um, tonight it's supposed to get down to the low of 60 degrees. So I just uh, have the lightweight Costco quilt with me for, uh, for camp. Somebody's got a sign up here that says Caution Yellow Jackets. But we're not sure where they are at. <laughs> I should have put an arrow there. <sighs> Ran into getting stung again. Just got one last week. Uh, it's right where that rock was. Oh. Yeah. I'm nice. going around it. Still on Hess Trail. Okay, we just came out of the woods into Northgate parking lot. And I don't remember this from the last time I was here. So apparently I'm on a different trail than I was last time. But that was probably two years ago when I was here, so I can't really remember. Here's Miller Trail over here. I don't know what the plan is. I'm gonna let somebody else figure out the plan. All right, from the parking lot, we came over this direction. Uh, there was another trail over there, it's a Miller Trail, but we weren't looking for that one. This should be the one we're looking for. I can't remember the name of it. Okay, yeah, this is it. Whitetail Trail. Right there. Water source there. It's pretty nice there. Back into the rhododendrons. Getting into some good scenery now. But, uh, not only the creek, but now we're getting into some hemlocks. And we just climbed up out of the valley. Still on Long Run Trail, crossing this road here. A little parking area right here. Nice section of forest here. We climbed up out of the valley again. It's the end of Long Run Trail. And I believe we are making a left on Miller Trail. We've been coming down off of the ridge here on Miller Trail, and we're headed down into the valley. Um, so we should be getting pretty close to the uh, campsite pretty soon. Now we're getting into the campsite areas. Look at this. Rock chairs and everything. A lot of good camping here. A lot of good hammock trees. Ten spots. We're gonna go across this bridge right here. There's the remains of an old mill over here. But we're gonna be coming we'll come back over here and camp somewhere. Grist Mill Trail. Yeah, that old uh, mill is right over here. This is 1987. 
I'm not sure if this is Mill Run or Quebec Run, this creek here. Okay, I think this is the old mill. Not much left of it. campsite for the night we decided to take the first one we, we came to uh, i'm trying to find fire firewood down here um, and of course this is a real popular campsite so everything's picked clean we're not getting a whole lot of good firewood but uh we'll get something going get these bugs away from us all right camp is ready to go fire's getting started over there um firewood's collected food line is hung we got all three food lines hung on one branch right over there. Uh, cat hole is dug tomorrow. And uh, now I've been looking forward to this all day. Because I got these raspberry drinks down here cooling in the fridge. I think they're raspberry, yeah. So get started on one of those. Good water source. I'm not sure if this is Mill Run or Quebec Run find out I'll put it down below 10 after 7 sunset is 7 16 today fire started what happened <laughs> what, did we do? what happened no I didn't see what happened um, There's something no, going on with the food bag lines over here to see what's going on <laughs> On the it same looks limb. Like it. it does. It looks exactly the same. Oh, that's too funny. So sorry. No, it's okay. I, it was probably a likely story that it I It looks exactly like. <laughs> oh, <thank God. laughs> okay. Get it back out now. Screw it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, but we could not get a hold of it. As you may or may not be able to see, it is uh, 10 o'clock and that is the uh, last of the campfire. Everybody else is turned in and uh, let's see if I can go try to fall asleep. I've got a slightly full moon. I'm going to spin the camera up here. I don't think it's probably going to show up. But right there. There was a lot of tree cover here. Yeah, none of it showing up. Anyways, that's it for this evening. Catch you in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now. I got up around 7.30. I'm already packed up. Just uh, having some coffee right now. And uh, chilling down here at the water hall. Uh, it was nice listening to this water last night. Good sleep. Low got down to 59 degrees, and uh, that's what it is right now. So, let me get to work on this coffee. All right, 9 o'clock. Just before 9 o'clock, I'm headed out of camp for what should be about a five-mile walk back to the car. There's some uh, really nice campsites around this particular section right here. And uh, just past uh, other people at camp. We didn't know that there would be anybody else out here on a... Monday, Tuesday trip. Check this out. Pretty nice. Now, if you're looking at the map for Quebec Run, there's some stuff that's listed as roads. But all the way through this whole wild area, this is what a road is. It's just basically access for like emergency vehicles and such. Nice campsite there. All right, uh, should be about should be about two miles tops back to the car. So I'm gonna do. Uh, a wrap up of the uh, the trail out here. Um, there's plenty of shorter lo shorter loops you can make than what we did. I'll put the total distance and the total elevation 
uh, down below and a screenshot of the uh, GPS track for the two days combined. Um, it's not too difficult elevation wise, there's a few climbs, but nothing that difficult. Water sources, I am ne next to one right now. But uh, yeah, if it's a really hot day, or if you tend to drink a lot of water, I would say top off your bottles uh, whenever you find a good water source. Campsites. And we did the loop counter, uh, no, we went, we did the loop clockwise to this time. And uh, the, there's scattered um, campsites throughout this whole uh, wild area. But I say, uh, if you find, but the, uh, but the best campsites, the best campsites are down along Quebec Run where we stayed at. Starting from, I, I believe that's Mill Run Trail, starting at uh, where Grist, Run, Grist Mill Trail comes out, where we camped at, and then heading clockwise for about exactly a mile down that uh, Mill Run Trail, or whatever it's called. As far as uh, water crossings, there's bridges over all the significant uh, water crossings, so you're not going to get your feet wet, but there are places where you could get your feet muddy if it's been heavily raining. And another thing about uh, these trails out here, they are pretty well maintained, pretty well blazed. Um, even though all the, all the trails out here are blazed red, um, there are signs at each one of the intersections. So as long as you have a map with you, you should be good. I should be getting really close now because back to that wild area, wildfire area, or back to that. <laughs> so I guess we're here, parking lot's there. For being a wildfire in 2016, still a lot of vegetation here. It's 11 o'clock, just about back at the car. There's a really nice uh, campsite right down there. So yeah, we should be back in the parking lot in like five minutes. Some old bear poop. Something really odd about this trip is the lack of wildlife. I didn't see any deer, no snakes, not even a chipmunk, which is surprising with all the acorns. Uh, not even a bird, except for at camp. There was a heron that flew down the uh, flew down the creek and there was a squirrel doing some acrobatics in the, in the trees up above us. And that's the only animals other than gnats and spiders that we've seen. T-Bolt and Hess. We went out yesterday, we went out that way. And we're coming in from this direction and the parking lot is right up there on the ridge. All right, back at the parking lot. There's a few more cars here than there was when we left. It, uh, we only passed, we passed one hiker coming up the last hill and uh, we saw those two guys at camp this morning and uh, that was the only people we saw. It's going to start raining. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to start raining. I don't have the keys to the car. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to do it for this trip. Uh, off to find the uh, nearest golden arches. And, uh, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.